Hey, I'm Billy Cruz. I'm Miles Bess, and we're here at the Black Men for Bernie bus, talking to some young people. They're about to give us a tour of this bus. We're going to interview them. Let's go check it out. Okay, guys, welcome on the bus. Let me show you around. This is where we just mostly do all of our thinking. Um, we did our launch video, and uh -huh. we uploaded it from here. Um, so it's basically like a workstation? Our workstation while we're on the road. Um, this is like our meeting area where the couches are. Um, this is where all the big meetings go on for us. Oh, and here's all the shirts. Like Every time we stop, we start giving out and something. So basically just like the one you're wearing? Yeah. Oh, that's tight. So. My name is Jackie Carter, and I'm the mom. I'm Nadia. I'm the daughter. <laughs> I'm Mia. I'm the daughter, too. And I'm Jeremy. I'm the kind of son. <laughs> He's the son. <laughs> we, were, we were in the doctor's office and I was just scrolling through my Twitter feed and I, I had previously known about Bernie Sanders and then he just popped up on the TV and we looked up and I was like, hey, you know that man? She was like, you was like, no. <laughs> so I, I explained to you what Ber who Bernie Sanders was and what he stood for. She kind of gave us some information about um, him chaining himself to a black lady. And so I went home and mentioned it to her dad and he was like, Bernie Sanders. So then she came in and they had their own discussion about Bernie Sanders. And um, it just kind of went from there. And what do you think about Bernie Sanders? You're really the birth child. If you put it, look, look, put it that way, of the whole movement. Here we are in Philadelphia. <laughs> what do you think about that? I mean, I didn't think he was going to explode. Like it was, I thought y'all were just going to be like, oh, OK, he's a really stand up guy. We're going to vote for him. I didn't think we would go black men for Bernie, bus, and eight not vans. You didn't think that? No, I didn't. <laughs> what did you think? I wasn't as shocked to see it. It was just the way I found out, like scrolling through Facebook and you see my dad and Mark Ruffalo, I think, and like the, the videos hitting like a million views and I'm like, whoa, like what's going on? When I found about it, he was already doing Black Men for Bernie. Who's he? Mr. Bruce, he was already <laughs> doing, he was already doing Black Men for Bernie. So they're just kind of like, like turned me up because I was already like supporting Bernie Sanders so I was just like and Mr. Bruce is supporting and he has black men for Bernie like it was it just kind of sealed me being for Bernie Sanders. The name black men for Bernie is just to engage our brothers our black men to start leading to make a difference that we have someone that we can identify with. Bernie says the same things that they we hear in barbershops so we attack barbershops because that's where our black men are. We educate them they feel like they don't have a voice when we leave Philadelphia, we want them to be different than when we came. We want to be a positive influence on the youth, the adults, everyone we touch. We want, because we, we love people and we do everything from the heart. My dad, he didn't just think about going for Bernie and leave it there. He went to Walmart handing out flyers everywhere we stopped. Well, let's get out and hand out flyers. If you want to do something, set your mind to it and put the work in for it. And like, it'll come true no matter what. 